Hello friend, this video statistics part 25 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched statistics part 1 to part 24. This says the mean and standard deviation of 100 observations were calculated as 40 and 5.1 by a student who mistook 50 instead of 40 for one observation. We have to find the correct mean and correct standard deviation. So one thing is clear in this example that n is equal to 100 right and we have incorrect mean and incorrect standard deviation so i'll say x is equal to 400 and this standard deviation is equal to 5.1 both are incorrect so i'll say i i x and this is i incorrect incorrect mean incorrect standard deviation now we know that mean is nothing but 1 by n into sigma xi this formula we know correct n we know and incorrect mean we know so incorrect sigma xi is nothing but n into incorrect mean this is incorrect mean the value is nothing but n is 100 into 40 and that turns out to be 4000 so incorrect sum this is incorrect sum i write i here capital i this incorrect sum is this or i write cross here above the term which is incorrect incorrect sum is 2000 correct now the correct sum what is the correct sum correct sum will be in 4000 you subtract 4000 actually 4000 you subtract 50 and you add 40 why because this guy missed to 50 instead of 40. The correct value was 40, so we will add 40, and the incorrect value was 50, so we will remove the 50. So, in a bucket, if one thing is wrong, you have to replace, you will take out the wrong thing and put the right thing. So, here also will take out the wrong thing. Wrong thing is 50 and put the correct. So, the correct sum is nothing but 39. Correct. Therefore, the correct mean, I like correct mean, I like put a tick mark here. This correct mean is nothing but 3990 by n and the number of term is nothing but 100 so the correct mean is nothing but 39.9 so this is what we have got we have got the correct mean 39.9 now let's find variance so for I mean this is one equation we have got now let's use a other data which we have got the variance data sorry standard deviation data so standard deviation is nothing but a general formula 1 by n summation x i square minus 1 by n square summation of x i whole square right and the whole thing in the root action this is what is the value of variance you know this correct and this is nothing but mean so we can also say this is nothing but root of 1 by n sigma x i square minus mean square correct because sigma x i by n is mean so this becomes mean square now let's use the correct and incorrect so first is the incorrect incorrect case so incorrect variance is nothing but 5.1 this is equal to root of 1 by n n is always 100 actually into Sigma x i square this is incorrect. I'll write sigma x i square is incorrect. So I'll write a incorrect symbol here. Minus since I'm taking incorrect, so everything is incorrect here. So incorrect means square. So incorrect means 40. This is 40 square. This is what we get. So when you solve this, when you solve this, I'll solve this. So this becomes 5.1 square or 5.1 square is nothing but 26.01. 26.01 is equal to 1 by 100 into sigma x i square that is incorrect minus 1600 correct or we can say that sigma x i square it is incorrect is equal to this value 1600 plus 26.1 into 100 so what we will get is 1 6 Two six zero correct, and that is the point one actually. This is nothing but my incorrect mean. Sorry, this 
into 100. So this becomes this one. Once this is 2601, this is my incorrect mean. All right, incorrect. So till now what we have got? We have got incorrect values square sum that we have got. Correct. Also, since we have done this way, correct sum is equal to total sum minus this plus this. Similarly, we can do this way also. Correct. Sigma x i square. There is nothing but sigma x i square incorrect. Right. Minus 50 square because it is incorrect. Plus 40 square. See here I was doing same thing here instead of square I was doing normal way S correct sum is equal to incorrect sum minus 50 plus 40 here also correct sum square is equal to incorrect sum square minus 50 square plus 40 square correct or this is nothing but 162601 minus 50 square that is 2500 plus 40 square is 16 and this value comes out to be 16170. So I have got the correct sum square. I have got the correct sum square. I have got the correct mean. The correct mean is this, this correct mean, and I have got the correct sum square also. Now, using this, I can find the value of correct standard deviation. Let's do that. We know that standard deviation is nothing but root of sigma xi square by n minus mean square. This is what we know. We know the value of this, we know the value of all these values. So what do this? We'll put the value. We'll put this value is summation of correct uh, xi square is 161701. We have found this. n is equal to 100 minus mean is nothing but correct mean is 39.9 square and the whole thing is in the So if you solve this, this becomes 1617.01 minus this becomes 15. 92.01 and this is root and this is nothing but root of 25 and the value is 5. So the correct variance is or the correct standard deviation is 5. If you want to know correct standard uh, variance you can say that this is nothing but sigma square that is 5 square that is 25. So correct variance is 25 and the correct standard deviation is very simple what we have done we have just found use this formula summation use this formula correct sum is equal to incorrect sum minus 50 plus 40 and also correct summation xi square is equal to incorrect sum xi square minus 50 square plus 40 square thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again